toasts every second counts. And here's your host for every second counts, Paul Daniel. Feel good tonight. Good audience and hello to you at home. Welcome to Every Second Counts, the show where couples play to win seconds of time and they hope that'll help them to win fabulous prizes later on. And so do we. The show is all about time. And at the beginning we always tell you something from a long time ago, like exactly 200 years ago this week, the mutiny on the bounty took place. Three sailors fell off a chocolate bar. <laughs> I mean, you don't believe that, do you? Oh, right then. While that bar is melting, we will meet the contestants. And our first Every Second Pants couple tonight, Paul, are Karen and Jeff Hinchcliffe from Leeds. Karen, isn't it? Yes. Of course it is. Tell me all about Jeff. This is my husband, Jeff. We've I just said that. <laughs> for almost eight years. Eight years? What's he do for a living? He's just coming up to his first anniversary of setting up his own business, Matrix Photographic Services. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You're a photographer, are you? Yes. Yeah? Weddings and stuff? Weddings, social, commercial. Oh, yeah. Any hobbies then? I mean, photography, I suppose, was a hobby, now the job. It yeah? Still is a hobby. So what's, what's he do? He's got lots of hobbies. He does pyrography, he makes uh, terrariums. Uh, pyrography what? Pyrography. What's that then? It's burning patterns onto wood. That's Spoons called arson. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he propose? Very romantic. Oh. Number 76 bus queue in the pouring rain. <laughs> After he'd been to a camera club, of course, got him in a good mood first. Oh, cunning little devil. And then you pop the question to see what would develop. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Now, tell me all about Karen. Karen is um, very accident prone. Um, she just, it's like a comedy of errors, the marriage so far. Because of some things she does, like the time she's ironing a blouse and she burnt her neck. She <laughs> finished ironing it. Excuse, excuse, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Give me that again. She, she ironed her blouse yeah. and burnt her neck. And burnt your neck? I didn't have it on the first time I ironed it, just the second. Just. Straighten How out did the you do collar it? a little bit. Mm. Everything. You ironed it while you had it on. <laughs> it feels the opposite way when you're looking in the mirror. <laughs> yes, it is. Everything is the opposite way when you're looking Including in the mirror. Neck. Yeah. So you were ironing in the mirror <laughs> your neck. Yeah, have you got cool. no creases yet? I ironed them out. Oh, of course. Right. <laughs> Who's going to play first? I am. You are. All right. You sit in the front seat. You sit behind. We'll meet the next contestant. <laughs> Every second fans couple tonight, Paul, are Wilmer and George Gillen from Kilbarton in Scotland. Hello. 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 Yes, I'm practicing that Scottish accent. <laughs> I can never do it. Never do it. Tell me all about George. Where did you meet him? I met him um, while I was a student at a fancy dress party. He was dressed as a Honolulu girl. <laughs> Grass skirt, coconuts, wig. Grass skirt. George was in a grass skirt. And coconuts. And coconuts, of course. <laughs> and he made a pass at me by asking me to take his makeup off. <laughs> really? What a romantic star. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yes, and the marriage was a good marriage. I mean, when you the actual wedding was all right, was it? Well, we thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> That's great, great, great. Was George... he still in the grass skirt and the? Well, he was still in a skirt. He wore a kilt. Really? And yes. his brother. And his brother? <laughs> yeah. Both of them had kilts on. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Good reception? Smashing. They did a sword dance using a couple of teaspoons crossed over. <laughs> and it progressed into the can-can with their kilts on. Yes. And <laughs> I was just glad that they both wore Y-fronts, put it that way. Really? <laughs> so you do wear something under the kilt? Oh, I think so. <laughs> well, why have you not got it on tonight? Uh... Wasn't higher. Oh, it was, <laughs> oh, it was on higher? Yes. Yeah, so. Higher, but in the can can it got higher and higher. <laughs> so you wear Y fronts then? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> well. <laughs> yes, I do. I really like to know about these things, that's all. <laughs> all right, tell me about Wilma! Yes, this you is Wilma. Left Fred Flintstone for him. Yes. 
<laughs> My brother's called Fred. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Your dad's not called Barney, is he? <laughs> I mean, too much, that, wouldn't he? He's called Dino. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Hello, they're getting funny now. I'll get them off quick. Right, how is it now? So, um, and what do you do for a living? What's your lady do? She's our maths teacher. Really? Yes. That's normally very sensible, <laughs> isn't it? She well, married you. <laughs> she sometimes is sensible. Is she? Yes. How many kids? Two. One called Ruth and one called Paul. Well, it's nice to meet you. I'm glad you're in a good mood, because it's going to be a good game tonight. So, who's going to play first? I am. All right, sweetheart, you sit in the front seat, you sit behind, and we'll meet the next contest. And tonight's final Every Second Pants couple call are Julie and Ken Dunn. They come from Southampton. I like to see a man who's determined <laughs> to get on. I saw oh, you come round the corner like a rocket, <laughs> grab around. Come on, he says. Let's I did say down. wait. I did say wait. Pardon? I did say wait. He wasn't prepared to wait, <laughs> my love. He wasn't at all. Tell me all about Ken. Uh, Ken big. and I, <laughs> big softy. Ken and I have been married four years. What does he do for a living? He's a teacher. He teaches physics in physics? Physics? College. Really? Where did you meet him? At a patient's house, actually. At a what? At one of my patients. What does she do? Well, she's she's a midwife for her sins at the moment. She's a full-time mother and housewife and a part-time midwife. And is there a baby on the way? Yes, we're the average family at the moment. We're 2.2 .2 children and a dog. <laughs> Exactly, to the day. Really? <laughs> so, uh, where did you get married? Well, I took her down the registry office and we had a massive number of spectators. There were three of us there, weren't there? A secret wedding. A secret wedding? Yes, afraid so. On well, no publicity, put an X in mm, the corner. Mm. <laughs> All was wise. Well, we did everything the right way round. We had a honeymoon before we got married, Paul. <laughs> And then the, the registrar said, you are Julie Dunn. <laughs> you are Julie Dunn, hmm. yes, of course you are. Who's going to play first? Me. You is, OK? <laughs> I want you to do sit in the front, you sit behind, and we'll look at the prizes they could be winning on Every Second Counts. Well, Paul, tonight's prizes include a luxury weekend holiday in Paris, a connoisseur's collection of fine liqueurs, port and brandy, plus a luxury food hamper. Get about town on his and hers bicycles with two super bikes for the children. And tonight's star prize consists of the latest microwave oven, a top-of-the-range dishwasher, and this superb washing machine with combined tumble dryer. Hi there, the fun starts now with Karen, Wilma, and Julie in the front row. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Then I'll begin. With Karen, this is all about places of birth. I will give you the name of a well-known person and a choice of two places. You decide and then tell me in which of the two places that person was born. Educational stuff. The Duke of Edinburgh, was he born in Scotland or Greece? Scotland. Not a good start to the evening, Karen. <laughs> the Duke of Edinburgh was born in Greece. I believe on the island of Corfu, but I may be wrong. Wilma, John F. Kennedy, was he born in America or Ireland? <clears throat> Ireland. <laughs> Julie, you will not know right now how my heart beats <laughs> in anticipation of at least one little score. <laughs> I must ask this question, Julie. Adolf Hitler. <laughs> a bit of a leap from John F. Kennedy, I do agree. But was Adolf born in Switzerland or Austria? Austria. Austria is the right answer. <laughs> so, Julie, guess who's going to get the next question? <laughs> Andrew Sachs. Was he born in Berlin or Barcelona? Berlin. Right answer. Magnus Magnusson, was he born in Iceland or Scotland? Iceland. Peter Ustinov, was he born in Leningrad or London? Leningrad. Locked you out, but you're in the lead with six seconds of time on the clock. <laughs> and now a little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> If Karen and Wilma do not get 
an answer right. <laughs> I throw one of these tomahawks. No, I don't. I shall hand them out. In fact, I shall hand them out to the gentleman. Thank you, Paul. If they get the answers wrong, scalp them. <laughs> All right? You never know. Now, if your wives get the answers right, it would be very much appreciated if you would leap up, give an Indian war cry, probably a little dance, I don't care. But what are you laughing at? You just do as you're told, that's it, yes, all right? <laughs> of the following list of names which were famous Red Indians and which have been invented by us, if you think the name is true, say how. And if you think it's false, say no how. OK, starting with Wilma this time. Geronimo. How? <laughs> Is that it? Is that pathetic? Whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> we were expecting big things of you, George. Well, wait and see. Was it now? Wait and see. <laughs> Julie, sitting bull. Um, how? Sounds like a castrated cat. <laughs> okay, cab. Lying swine. No, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they lost. <laughs> Wilma, great tit. <laughs> How? <laughs> Took her head off, then. <laughs> Sorry, I messed <laughs> <laughs> Julie, crazy horse. Um, how? The dance, the leap, the dance. This is it, your moment. <laughs> I'm on strike. Once is enough. I think you must really like Karen, Jeff. <laughs> the way you gave her a little love pat <laughs> with the tomahawk. That only leaves Julie in once again. Julie, you've already got ten seconds of time on the clock. Howling Wolf. Um, no how. No how is the right answer. Husband leaps up, does dance. We'll imagine <laughs> oh, oh. that. That's enough. Sit down. Right? <laughs> oh, cheese. Uh, how? How? Husband leaps up, does dance. <laughs> no, sit down. Right, OK, now. Leaping Buffalo. No how. No how. Husband leaps up, especially when he learns that you've got 16 seconds and you're in the lead. <laughs> All right, we've got Karen, Wilma and Julie. Karen and Wilma are jointly on two seconds of time each. <laughs> Karen will be starting with you. We started with Wilma's last time. But, of course, you get no advantages because you've got the same score. Would you like card number one, card number two or card number three? <clears throat> One. one it is. This one over here is food and drink. In which country would you visit a tapas bar? Greece. France. Italy. Sicily. France. Austria. Spain. Yes! Uh. Four seconds of time added to your time for getting Spain correct. Wilma and George, you are left with one and two. One, two. Which one? You pick. One. One it is. This is pop music, OK? Uh, Which duo's debut album was entitled or entitled Fantastic? Fantastic. Wham. Wham for nine oh. seconds of time. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Julie and Ken, together, you have been left with films, OK? <laughs> films. Which actress starred in the film Victor Victoria? Oh, Julie Andrews. For nine seconds, you just breathe in. That's your second one. You're going to have 25 seconds of time on the clock. Zoom in, everybody. 
Really good. Now we're down to baby animals, starting with Karen. You're on six seconds of time, Karen. Baby animals. We all know that cats have kittens and doggies have puppies. But what do we call the young of other creatures? Of the following list of baby animals, which are given their correct names and which are not given their correct names. A young salmon is called a salopet. False. False. A little bit louder, Karen. Don't be shy. You got it right, OK? It's called a par, unless it changes its name to John West. Now, <laughs> Wilma. A young owl is called an owlet. <clears throat> True. Yes, it is. <laughs> and if you can see in the dark, it's called an eyelet. <laughs> Julie. A young eel is called an Elvis. True. <laughs> it's called an Elva. Oh, I need it, something like that. It moves <laughs> like a young Elvis. <laughs> right. There you go, right. Uh, so you're frozen out. Oh, that gives the others a chance to catch up. Karen, you're on eight seconds. A young parrot is called a Joey. False. False is the right answer. Do you know what is a... a, a, a oh, you don't. <laughs> it's a, a young kangaroo. It's called a joey. Okay? Wilma. A young hare is called a leveret. True. Aye, aye, you can say. <laughs> Karen. A young oyster is called a spat. True. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a young swan, Wilma, is called a swanee. False. It's called a signet. You can ring them up. <laughs> Come. A young trout is called a fry. False. It's true. Especially if you have it with chips. <laughs> young man, last chance for you. A young whale is called a calf. True. There you go, that's right, bringing you up to 19 seconds. Karen on 12, not enough to catch Julie on 25, but give them all a big round of applause, they change their seats. <laughs> Now, Jeff is in the driving seat with Karen behind. We've got George and the dragon, and we've got Ken and Julie. Well, you were fed up with being called Wilma, so I changed your name. You called the dragon, too. Have you? I, I thought you would. And Mildred. Pardon? And Mildred. And Mildred, yeah. Oh, that was a lovely series. You went George and Mildred, one of the great ones. And Ken and Julie. Ken, you're on 25, George 19, Jeff 12. And we're going to start you off. No help from the back seats, of course. We're going to start you off with baby pictures. I will show you a picture, and you will tell me whether this is Paul Newman or Cary Grant. <laughs> well, it's actually me. <laughs> but a lot of people can't tell the difference between me and Paul Newman, so, you know. Russell it. Grant. Russell Grant, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, George. Oh, well, I'm a great fan of his. Oh, I'm a great... Uh, uh, there's a lot of him to be a fan of now. Right. I'm going to show you some pictures, and you say who it is. I'll give you a choice of two people. I'll be starting with Jeff. Is this Annika Rice or Princess Anne? Annika Rice. Annika Rice is the right answer. She hasn't changed much, has she? <laughs> no. Now, it's George's turn. Is this Joan Collins or Marilyn Monroe? Joan Collins. Yeah, I thought that was an easy one, that. You know, here they are together. Have a look. Is this Neil Kinnock or Jimmy Savile? Neil Kinnock. Everybody has said that. It is, in me. fact, this lad. It's amazing, that, isn't it? Yeah. In those days, he didn't dye his hair. <laughs> anyway, yeah, shame you've frozen out that. But nevertheless, that's the way the game goes. Jeff, is this Babs Beverly with her twin Teddy from the Beverly Sisters, or is it Henry Cooper with his twin George? <laughs> <laughs> Henry Cooper. Pardon? Henry Cooper. No, it's Babs Beverly with George Cooper. <laughs> no, it is, in fact, you're right. It's Henry and George. There's our Henry, bless him, and it, this is which one he was. I would like to see Henry in the hat now. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this Floella Benjamin or Lenny Henry? <laughs> Floella Benjamin. I think it looks a lot like Lenny Henry. Let's see which one it is. It's Flo... 
That, no, that is Lenny Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Flo. Now, Jeff, is this Sid Little or is it Ronnie Barker? <laughs> Ronnie Barker. Ronnie Barker, yes. There's, it, there's the lad. <laughs> Same hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> now then, George, is this Ian Botham or Mike Gatting? Ah. Mike Gatting. Right answer. There he is. He's grown the beard so you can tell the difference. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Neris Hughes or Ruth Maddock? Which is it? Neris Hughes. Neris Hughes, good answer. There she is. Lovely lady. And she was lovely as a bubby. Now then, right up your street, George. Is this Linda Lusardi? <laughs> Or Margaret Thatcher? <laughs> <laughs> or... Oh, this will be a trick question. <laughs> Linda Lissardi. Right answer. There you go. That's what she looks like now. That's what she looked like then. But there you go. At the end of that round, George has got into the lead with 35 seconds on the clock. and we will be starting with Ken, who slipped down to 25, of course. The following artists have had hit records together. True or false? Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. True. Yes, with the girl is mine, but the chimp is his. <laughs> so we go along to Jeff and Karen, David Bowie and Bing Crosby. True. Yeah, peace on earth, little drummer boy. That was theirs. George... Barbara Streisand and Barry Manilow. False. That's right. Couldn't get them in the same studio. <laughs> <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> Ken. Cher and Max Bygraves. False. All right. Only because Max objected to being called Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Julio Iglesias and Stevie Wonder. True. Yep. My Love. George, Cliff Richard and Frank Sinatra. False. Good answer. Problem there was the age barrier. Cliff didn't want to work with a younger man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Cliff. I'm always apologising. Ken, Kiki D and Elton John. True. Don't go breaking my heart. Jeff, Madonna and Rod Stewart. False. That's a good answer. If they did, of course, it would not be on the Virgin label. Now, <laughs> George, Dolly Parton and Samantha Fox. False. Not the right answer. Oh, no, it is the right answer. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of the four tops. I don't know why. <laughs> I was thinking of the four tops. During the lead, 47 seconds. <laughs> There really isn't anything in it at all, and it's the music for the bonus time. Ken and Julie will confer first and tell me whether they want general knowledge, sport, or living world. <laughs> living world, sport, or general knowledge? She got it right last time. Living world. Living world. Got it right last time. Which dog has the breeds called Pembroke and Cardigan? Collie. 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 Terrier. Welsh Corgi. Yes, Corgi was the right answer. Pembroke and Cardigan Corgi. Shoving the score up there to 44. And we go along to Jeff and Karen. And it's general knowledge or sport? General knowledge. General knowledge. General knowledge. What do we call the board game which Americans call checkers? Drafts. Drafts, and the clock hadn't started. You've got ten seconds there. Pushing the score way up into the lead. George and Wilma now have a problem with sport. Here's sport. Which country will host the 1990 Commonwealth Games? Spain, Canada, uh, New Australia. Zealand. Australia. New Zealand, stop the clock there. <laughs> and And we're going to the final section, and it's pretty close. Jeff's just behind you. Ken isn't a million miles away either, I'll tell you. And this is all about the states, OK? <laughs> the United States. Which of the following is the name of an American state? Just say yes if it is the name of a state. 
and no if it is not. Okay? Ken, Washington. Yes. Good decision. Jeff, Las Vegas. No. Another good guess. George, Ohio. Yes. Aye. Ken, Chicago. <coughs> no. Jeff, Memphis. Yes. No, it is not. You're frozen out and you were really close. George, Florida. Yes. Yes, it is. Ken, New York. Yes. Yes, good decision. George, Miami. No. No, it isn't. You took the right decision there. Ken, one left. You can't make it. Just for fun. Mississippi? No. It is. It is. You <laughs> frozen out. There you go. George and Wilma, this week's winners with 68 seconds. <laughs> Good game that you're way in front with 68 seconds. That's a big, big clock. Lots of time to play in the final game. That's good. And that means, of course, you have to say goodbye to Jeff and Karen and Ken and Julie. And, of course, you get every second counts clocks and watches and it'll... That's nice. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with you two. <laughs> and George. George, the drag artist, is going to go over there with his wife and we're going to play the final game. But the nation's going to look at the prizes you could be winning. They're over there. Get away from it all with a luxury weekend holiday to Paris. The chance to enjoy the Parisian romance and history as you stroll round its world-famous sites. A connoisseur's collection of fine liqueurs, which include vintage port and brandy, plus a luxury food hamper with a selection of classic cheeses, including that favourite Stilton. You can keep fit and get about town at the same time with bikes for all the family. Top of the range cycles for him and her, and two super bikes for the children. And tonight's star prize consists of the ultimate in kitchen technology. The latest microwave oven, a top-of-the-range dishwasher, and finally, a magnificent washing machine with combined tumble dryer. <laughs> Wilmer and George on 68 seconds. Have you been to Paris? No. Well, oui. We... <laughs> <laughs> no, we. We no, no, we. Well, which is it then? We saw the Eiffel Tower from a bus. <laughs> you saw the Eiffel Tower from a bus? I've been on one of those holidays. Anyway, you can spend the whole weekend looking at the Eiffel Tower if you want to, OK? Nice long weekend in Paris is the first prize. The categories you have to choose from first, before you even get the four right, are these. Here's the first category. Motor racing or Nobel Prizes? Nobel Prizes. The following is a list of Nobel Prize winners, OK? Were their awards made for peace or for literature or for science? OK? Right. So when I read out this name, you go, oh, yes. That award was for peace, literature, science. Put out the four lights, you're on the way to Paris. Wilma, we start with you. Are you ready? Yes. OK, your time starts now. So, Winston Churchill. Peace. No. Ma Max Planck. Peace. No. Dag Hammarskjöld. Science. No. Rudyard Kipling. Literature. Yes. Sir Alexander Todd. Science. Yes. Willy Brandt. Peace. Yes. Louis Alvarez. Science. Yes. <laughs> Send me a postcard or there will be trouble. OK? I like getting postcards. So, what's next? Wine, brandy, port, liqueurs, Stilton cheeses and a luxury food hamper. George, we're starting with you. 53 seconds you have got left on the clock. You may now confer and tell me whether you want either of these categories. Which one you want? Definitions or films? Films. Mm -hmm. Films. Films of the following list of films. Which one starred Peter Sellers? Which starred Jack Lemmon? And which starred Burt Lancaster? OK? Yeah. Famous peoples. And therefore, you must answer when I give you the title of the film, Sellers, Lemon, Lancaster. 53 seconds on the clock, five to go. Are you ready, George? Yes. Here we go. Time starts now. Run silent, run deep. Lancaster. Yes, Mr. Roberts. 
Sailors. No. The Osterman Weekend. Lancaster. Yes. Revenge of the Pink Panther. Sailors. Yes. Gunfight at the OK Corral. Lancaster. Yes. The Great Race. Lemon. That's the right answer. <laughs> 30 mm. <laughs> good. On the other hand, you could leave those behind and go on for something of more value, which in this case are the two racing bicycles over there. All right? It's a family of bikes. It's called males and females. All righty? First, as you know, to win those, you've got to put six lights out and you've got to, of course, choose a category. The categories I have on offer for you are counties or Animal lovers. Animal lovers. Okay. Animal lovers. Animal lovers. The following is a list of famous people and characters who are associated with a particular type of animal. Okay? So it's either cats or dogs or birds. All right? And you must say cat, dog, bird. So, are you ready? Yes. Your time starts. <clears throat> Now, Blofeld. Cat. Yes. Mavis Riley. Bird. Yes. Sir Peter Scott. Dog. No. David Blunkett. Cat. No. Dennis the Menace. Dog. Yes. T.S. Eliot. Cat. Yes. Bill Oddy. Bird. Yes. Rigsby. Dog. No. Ethel Skinner. Cat. No. Long John Silver. Bird. That's your <laughs> dish. how delighted I am that you've won those bicycles because that's the only way we can get you back from Paris. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, you could leave those behind and looky, 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 a dishwasher, a microwave, a washer and the dryer combined over there, all right? I will be starting with George, but you can confer to choose the categories. These are the categories. Television channels or football clubs? Te television channels. I'm going to give you a list of television programmes and have you tell me which channel they are normally seen on. Are they on BBC or ITV or Channel 4? OK? So I will give you a programme from television and you just say BBC, ITV, 4. OK? Yep. Seven lights to go. It's a long way to go, I tell you. But we're starting with you, George, on 17 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. Your time starts <coughs> now. News at 10. ITV. Yes, Grandstand. BBC. Yes, Golden Girls. Channel 4. Yes, The Bill. BBC. No, Brookside. Channel 4. Yes, Songs of Praise. BBC. Yes, Blue Peter. BBC. Yes, Right to Reply. BBC. No, The Equalizer. ITV. You did it! <laughs> A superb microwave oven, a luxury dishwasher, and a combined coffee machine with tumble dryer. Now that was close, I tell you. Right on the blip. Bill and George, congratulations. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Most of it. And I hope you like it too. See you next week on Every Second Time. Goodbye.